While I grew up in Europe, males wore Speedo-style briefs at the beach and pool. When I moved to the United States, my mother sent me to the day camp's pool day with a Speedo. I was confronted with the culture shock that almost trousers were almost required swimwear. Everyone was shocked. I felt more confused than ashamed since I swam better than everyone else. And while I was biased in favor of Speedos, an objective look at swimsuits tells us that Speedos increase speed because there's less drag, Speedos reduce buoyancy, no bubbles under the taint zone. So why was the reaction so hostile? Why was everyone juvenile towards a simple preference? Who cares? I certainly wasn't making fun of anyone. Why can't we just all get along? Who gives a shit? Rhetorically asked eight-year-old Antgon. That's called culture, especially a monoculture that does not tolerate differences. The implications for Grero are obvious. Even with the massive evidence, culture has made it impermissible for anyone to wear Speedos or for males to like other males, uh, masculine males. Speedos aren't just an analogy, but a direct attack on masculinity. It's not just a metaphor about the power of culture. The hatred against Speedos is actually explicitly anti-masculine. Given the functionality of Speedos, why do people jeer at them? Why the juvenile snickering and hooting? If they are functionally better, people should embrace them, not hate them. The purpose of Speedo hatred is to cover up masculinity quite literally. Whereas burqas in, Islamic, in the Islamic world cover up desired feminine aspects, curves, pretty hair, etc., Speedos cover up the most visible sign of masculinity. So swim shorts are male burkas for the crotch, anti-masculine abominations. In our sex-phobic culture, tits must be covered up and so must cocks. We must be ashamed of ourselves. We must pretend we don't have penises. And it's this shame that jeers down a functionally better swimsuit that would reveal our natural masculinity. It's like showing a car to the Amish. They have no use for innovation because they value slavery and subjugation to old ideas. No wonder Grero or... or alternatives has, have not made much headway in the past. My mother rarely gave me good advice, but she told me the hullabaloo over my speedo would die down within a day or two. She was right. After a few days, no one cared anymore. But if we're afraid of wearing speedos or back down and submit to the majority's baboonery, no progress can be made.